first way to get your iPad connected is to buy the iPad 3G model. Then you can insert a micro SIM card into the device. But it'll cost you more in the long run, and you might have to cut your existing SIM card to fit in the micro SIM slot. Another option is buying one of the existing MiFi devices. But you'll still need to maintain another network plan. Another option is tethering uh, your mobile phone to your iPad. But you can't do it via USB or Bluetooth yet. So it seems the final option is to broadcast a Wi-Fi hotspot using your mo existing mobile phone. As you can see, my iPad is in a place that has no Wi-Fi signal. I'm not connected. There is no network to join. So now I'll take out my Nexus One phone, running on Android 2.2 firmware, which allows broadcasting of a Wi-Fi hotspot. As you can see, I have a 3G signal on my phone. I will now try to convert that signal into a Wi-Fi hotspot. Right there. So first, we'll go to settings. Wireless and networks. Choose tethering and portable hotspot, which is a new feature from Android 2.2. I'll just click this portable Wi-Fi hotspot option here. And that's really all there is to it. After a few seconds, you'll see the blue Wi-Fi icon on the top, which represents the signal that your phone is now broadcasting using the 3G network. So now that the phone is acting as a Wi-Fi hotspot, let's go back to my I iPad. And as you can see, my phone, I call it the Board Nexus, shows up in the network options. I'll just choose that. I already uh, saved the password, so I don't have to type it in again. my Safari browser for the iPad. As you can see, I am now connected to the internet using my Nexus One um, 3G network. And I can surf the web in any place that has a 3G signal on my phone. 